Rakita and I'm back with another video. So in this video, I want to talk about credit cards for college students. Now, I've seen a lot of, when I go through other people's videos, you know, I'm seeing what everybody else is doing, what's going on. I see a lot of people, you know, they talk about credit cards, and I see a lot of people, um, a lot of college students saying, hey, what should I do? What credit cards I should get? I'm going to tell you about credit cards you guys can get to start off. And remember, too, always don't look up just credit cards or building your credit for college students. Just look up building your credit in general because anybody that's 18, when you first come out, you have to know how to build your credit. So let me tell you guys about these easy credit cards that you guys can get and get approved for. So the first credit card that I want to tell you about is a Capital One credit card. So Capital One actually has a student credit card that you guys can apply for. So when you apply for this credit card, even if you don't have any credit, they may be able to go ahead and approve you. And the reason I say may is because everybody results are, you know, everybody results may be different. A lot of people go and apply for it, they'll get approved. Some people may not get approved. So I don't want to say that you want to guarantee get approved and you're not going to guarantee get approved. But go ahead and apply for that Capital One, even if you start off, and they should be able to, to qualify you to see if you're able to get approved for that credit card. Now keep this in mind, if you don't have any income coming in right now while you're in college, they're not going to give you a credit card. So you need to make sure that you have some type of income coming in or if you have income coming from your parents, you can put that income on your application. And I have plenty of videos on my channel showing you how to actually get approved for this credit card or just credit cards in general or how to even fill out an application. A lot of people don't even know how to fill out a application for a credit card what things to say and what not to say right so go ahead and look through my channel and you can be able to see different videos on how to actually apply for a credit card so the capital one credit card is an easy credit card y'all can get so go ahead and get that stu student journey credit card another credit card too like discover have a student credit card that you guys can get discover with their student credit card too it's the same thing you know maybe you don't have any credit at all they can go ahead and approve you for that credit card especially if you show that you're in college and if you you can show that you in college with that credit card and make sure that you have a job that's very important you can't get a credit card if you don't say you have to make any money who will want to give you money if you don't have any money coming in so make sure that you have some type of money coming in and they should be able to go ahead and approve you now capital one they'll allow you to have four credit cards so they'll let you have two personal and two business credit cards. So I always tell people to get in the door and make sure y'all get an account with no annual fee. That way you can keep that account forever and you can have it grow, 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 grow with the credit limit. Because they may only start you off with, you know, $500 right now, but you eventually want to get it to a $5,000, $10,000 credit card, right? So go ahead and start off with Capital One with two of them. So I already told y'all about that student one. Won't y'all try to get the Quicksilver or the Platinum? Now that Quicksilver got an annual fee on it, so I would rather y'all try to do that Platinum. But I want to wait until after, remember, I want to wait until after the first credit card reports. Because Platinum may not give it to you if you don't have any history at all. But if you was able to get one credit card reporting to your credit reports, and when I say reporting to your credit reports, every time you get a credit card, you want them to tell the credit bureau that you have credit cards. So you got TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. You want them to tell the credit bureaus that you have a credit card so that whenever you want to get another credit card, they can see that you have one credit card, you're doing good on it, and then they'll be like, oh, you're doing good, I'll give you a credit card too. You know, they're going to jump in and give you that credit card. So you want to wait to an account is reporting and then I want you to go with that Capital One Platinum. Now if you need to get an account report to your credit reports, I know this kind of off, off subject, you guys can sign up for something called Self Lender. You guys can sign up for something called Kickoff. Now with Kickoff, let me go into them first. My credit score went up 36 points in two weeks you guys. So with this company they say hey if you don't have a credit score we're going to get you to the 600 when we first report. That's if you don't have a credit score, and it's probably you if you're a college student, you don't have a credit score so or a credit report. So I suggest that you sign up for kickoff before you even try messing around with any credit cards, right? So when you sign up for kickoff, they're going to loan you $12, and every month they want you to log in and pay them back that dollar. So that money is sitting into an account online, and when you go pay them back, all you have to do is go online and click pay. Like, it's that simple. And after you click pay, they're going to report to the credit bills that you're paying on time. When it comes down to credit, they want to know, can you take their money and can you pay them back? So definitely go ahead and sign up for kickoff, and it's going to boost your credit score up, and it's going to make it easier for when you want to go apply for other credit cards, they're going to be able to go ahead and approve you. Now, if you sign up for that kickoff, that's the first one I want you to sign up for. I want you to sign up for Self Lender. Now, with the Self Lender, it's kind of different. So, on my Self Lender, they said that my credit score went up a total of 155 points since I've been with them. And that's the only reason why I went up so much is because of this, you guys. 
every month I have to pay $48. So every month I'll pay my $48 to this account. And then every month they'll report to the credit bureaus that I've been paying. And I see my credit score going up and up and up, right? But in a year, after I keep paying $48 every month, every month in that year, I want to have so much money left over. They're going to actually direct deposit that money back into my account. And when they direct deposit that money back into my account, then at that time, you know, I, that account is closed out. And you can see the history that I have an account that I've been paying on every month, which actually boosts your credit score up a lot, showing that you can pay every month so definitely sign up for that kickoff and pay off pay sign up for that um self lender and don't forget too you will be able to pay that account off in a year but if you pick the 25 dollar option the 25 or the 35 dollar option they're going to make you pay on it for two years so i never suggest that when it's just too long anything can happen i just don't suggest doing that i suggest you just paying the 48 dollars per month get it over with in a year it'll be paid off and then you'll be able to have that history on your credit reports so other easy credit cards you guys can sign up for is an account called credit one bank so so far we have the capital one journey we have the capital one quick silver or platinum depending on what you want to get you got the discover student credit card and i want you guys to apply for credit one bank now when it comes down to credit one bank bank they usually approve everybody for a credit card so go ahead and sign up for a credit one bank but i suggest that you wait because sometimes if you don't have a file which means nothing's reported to credit bureaus yet they don't want to approve you so get that kickoff first and after you get that kickoff, you can be able to sign up for something called Credit Karma. When you sign up for Credit Karma and you see that that kickoff is on there, that's where you can see your actual credit reports, right? You can be able to see the accounts that's on there. After you sign up for them, then you can see, oh my gosh, that kickoff is on there. And they should give you a credit score. As soon as they give you that credit score, then I want you to go ahead and sign up for Credit One Bank. Because Credit One Bank is just an easy credit card that you guys can get. Now, if you're a student and you need help, like Rakita, start over. What's credit? What's the beginning? Get into details. Definitely go ahead and drop that comment down below and I remember to make a video for you guys to teach you what's credit, how you should build it, and how to even start off on a good foot. Or if you messed up your credit, how to reverse it so that you look like you're a student with nothing bad on your credit reports so that you can start building your credit naturally, you guys. So hopefully this video was useful to you guys and I'll talk to you guys later. Make sure you guys are texting score to 21,000 so that you can be a part of my $100 cash app giveaway, you guys. And remember, you can always call or text me. My phone number is 833-RIKITA and I'm always here to help you guys. And remember, I have assistants that may answer the phone. So my main assistant right now his name is Israel. So if you ever have any questions, definitely call or text me and we'll definitely be here for you guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. What you do is if you want to try my trick, I want you to opt into Factor Trust. So to opt into Factor Trust, you have to go ahead and click here. So this is the website. I'll have it down in the description. I want you to opt into Factor Trust. So when you opt into Factor Trust, all you're doing is telling them, hey, I want to get credit card offers. And you have to apply you, you have to actually give them your name, your address, your social security number, your date of birth. They're kind of, they're a credit bureau, so they're similar to, you know, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. Those are the three major ones. But go ahead and click Submit. After you click Submit, then you want to go ahead and enter that information that I told you that you'll have to submit. Go ahead and submit that information and click Confirm. Now, when you submit this, remember, you're telling them, I want offers, so be prepared to get a lot of offers in the mail. But that's good because, remember, you're trying to build your credit score up, and for you to build your credit score, you need at least four credit cards. Now, let me show you what you can do after you actually opt in. After you opt in, then you have a chance of getting approved for credit cards without them actually checking your credit score. So let's go ahead and go to victoriasecrets.com because that's an easy website where you can just test and see if you can do the opt-in. You don't have to get the credit cards, but you can see if you get the pop-up saying you're pre-approved without them checking your credit scores and without them actually give you their hard inquiry. So let's go to victoriasecrets.com. So after we go to victoriasecrets.com, I want you to put 200 to $250 worth of items in your cart. I already have items in my cart because I did not clear my cookies. So if you try this trick and it's not working for you, I want you to clear your cookies. I want you to clear your cookies and I want you to go into incognito mode. And if you want me to go through that, let me just run through it really quickly. You don't have to ask, I'll just do it. Let's go ahead and click the three dots here at the top. So it's three dots at the top and go to settings. After you go to settings, I want you to put pop into the box. 
And I'm going to kind of go fast because I don't want to, if you already know this, I don't want to, you know, pull you through it. But I want you to go ahead and click here where you see it's highlighted with the pop. Go ahead and click there, scroll to the bottom, and you want to make sure that you click pop here, and then you allow pop-ups. You make sure that it says allowed. So make sure it says allowed on your computer. Go ahead and click enter again on pop. Let's go ahead and just put pop in again. I want you to go to clear browsing data. That's your cookies. That's when they track you. They know where you've been. So, so far, they said I've been to 169 sites. I downloaded 10 items. Like, they know too much, right? <laughs> so, I want you to clear your data. So, after you clear your data, they're not going to have this information anymore. So I want you to go to the Victoria's Secrets website, but I want you to do it in, in an incognito mode. I'm able to do it without incognito, but I want you to see what it looks like to do it in incognito. And this is actually called the shopping cart trick, what we're going to be doing. So I want you to put Victoria's Secrets here, click submit, click enter, and I want you to put that $200 to $250 worth of items in your cart. So I like to just go ahead and hover over sleep and go to cami sets. But again, it can be any $200 to $250 that you want to go ahead and pick the items. You can pick them yourself. You don't have to go ahead and follow these items, but I suggest you follow them, but you don't have to. And you can always rewind, slow it down, or whatever it takes so that you can go ahead and get this trick to work for you. So I like to click the small. And I like to get four of them. And so I get the four, the same item. I don't like to go ahead and get different items. I think it's just too much work and it's not necessary. So I want to add this to my bag. Now I want to click check out. Now, as you can see here, the items is actually only $198, but with taxes, it's going to put me over that $200 mark. So I'm not concerned about it. So I'm going to click check out. After you click check out, you want to check out as a guest. So go ahead and click check out as a guest. Now, I want you to go ahead and type your information in, that same information that you put into Factor Trust. I want you to put your first and last name here, your address here. I want you to put your phone number and your email address in. And the only reason why you want to put that same exact information, that's because when the Factor Trust sent your information over to these credit card companies, the only thing that they gave them was your name, your address, your phone number, and your email address so that they can mail you stuff, they can email you things, they can, you can get all these different offers, right? So put that same information in here, but I want to type this information in of the client that I have. So remember, you want to make sure that this is that same information. If you do not put the information in correct, then they're not going to go ahead and give you that pop-up that I'm going to show you in a second. So I'm just typing in all the information that you will have to put in so that you can get that pop-up. And keep this in mind too, there's over 60 different credit cards that allow you to get the to get credit cards without them checking your credit score. So go ahead, if you get approved for this one, if you get the pop-up, I want you to get the shopping cart trick guide in the description where you can see those 60 different credit cards. So I have all of the information put in, so I just want to verify that everything is correct so we can get the pop-up. So, so far, everything is correct. I want to click continue to delivery. So after you click continue to delivery, this is the pop-up that you're going to get. It's going to say, congratulations, you're pre-approved for the Victoria's Secret credit card. And this is the pop-up for all of the companies. You should get the same as that pop-up saying that you're pre-approved. Now, they're asking you to pick which credit card you want to get. So I always like to get the pink. If you watch this plenty of times because you're trying to master this trick, then you know I love the pink card. So I'm going to click accept now. And what they're going to ask you for is they want you to put your date of birth here, your last four digits of your social twice, and they want you to go ahead and check this box here and click finish submit for review. So that is what they want you to put put here. And remember, after you go ahead and put this information in, they're going to let you know, congratulations, you're pre-approved for $500. You're pre-approved for $1,000. Now, I don't suggest that you actually you know, buy the things on this. I don't suggest that you go ahead and get it. What I would do is I would just exit out. So I would click that X right there. And after you go ahead, after they tell you how much you're approved for it, they're going to see you that card in the mail. So you can go ahead and look at my guide down in the description. It's called the shopping cart trick guide. And you'll be able to get those same credit cards that that's on that guide. And remember, they're not going to be checking your credit score and they're not going to be pulling your credit reports, giving you that hard inquiry. But if you have problems with hard inquiries, then go ahead and look down in the description. I have the hard inquiry removal guide also where you can go ahead and remove inquiries from your credit reports. But yes, guys, I taught you guys the trick. So now I want you just to implement it. And remember, you want to opt into Factor Trust. 
after you opt in the factor trust, it's going to be so many different offers coming in the mail. And now they're going to tell these different companies that you want to get the credit card, which is going to make it easier for you to be able to get them. So if you have any questions, go ahead and call or text me. My phone number is 833-RAKITA. And remember, I'm always here from, for you. So you can always call or text me. You're my assistance. We definitely here for you. And if you want me to try to see if I can do this trick for you, I also have a section in the description that says, Click here if you want me to try to do the trick for you. And usually that trick can be done within 24 hours so I can see if I can get you pre-approved. If you have any questions, like I said, call or text me. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment with your cash app so you can be entered into my monthly drawing.